Well, the new dog suit we're really excited to have here. It's a very rare thing to get hold of. Um, it's from the original Soviet space program during the space race from the late 50s. And it's a pressure suit that was used to send uh, dogs on high altitude flights. They would actually strap the dogs inside these suits um, so they could withstand um, the uh, low pressures as, as they went up into near space, not actually in space, but very close to the edge of space. Of course, at the beginning of the space race, no one knew how the human body uh, would respond to being in um, low gravity, to, to being at high altitude, uh, and the sort of forces that are exerted during launch as well. So animals were, were used to test uh, the reactions to, to physical beings. And uh, most of the dogs did survive, actually, these high altitude tests. There were only a, a couple of accidents where, where dogs died. And this is sort of the precursor to like the dogs uh, flight uh, when she actually went and orbited the Earth in a capsule rather than in a suit. I've seen some original footage of the dogs being collected when, they've, um, you know, from, when they parachute back down and uh, they seem very excited to see the owners sort of running around, quite surprising. I mean, you probably scare the living daylights like the rest of us, but these dogs seem to have been conditioned to a point where they were just very pleased uh, to see the, the, the sort of owners coming back to them and, and releasing them from the capsules and suits and taking them back to base. It's a very strange looking contraption really, you can see their clear helmet at the front was obviously shaped for a dog's head and then this uh, body with all the straps on that uh, ties up, laces up like a giant boot around the, the dog's body. It's uh, quite an emotive thing to look at I think to imagine a dog being put through that. I don't know of another one of these uh, on display anywhere in the UK um, and obviously there were only a few of them ever made and um, most of them have uh, perished over the years. We've had this one restored. I think one thing that's interesting about the different approaches that the Americans and the Soviets took at this time to just finding out how living things uh, would respond to a trip into space, the Americans tended to choose primates like rhesus monkeys and chimpanzees eventually, whereas the Soviets went for dogs and the Soviets felt that dogs would be more suited to sitting in a stationary position for many hours at a time. The Soviets tended to round up uh, dogs from the um, stray dogs from around Moscow and so they weren't often a particular breed, they were often sort of mongrels um, that had been collected up, just strays off the street. Obviously I'd look for a dog that was quite placid and friendly and wasn't particularly aggressive um, and then they'd take them through the, the training to make sure that they were happy just to stay in, a, in one place still for a long time. I mean like the dog and eventually went into orbit actually sat on in its capsule for three days before they launched it. <laughs> 